The Nutcracker begins on Christmas Eve, 19th century Germany. It begins at the Stahlbaum's house. Everyone's preparing for their festive Christmas Eve party. The children are Clara and Fritz. They're having fun playing with their friends. Their uncle draws a line of ears and reaches under his cape. He gives Clara a colorfully decorated box. Inside the box, Clara finds a beautiful nutcracker doll. The nutcracker has such vibrant colors and has such detail that she believes he may actually come alive. Clara picks up her nutcracker and cradles it in her arms. Out of nowhere, Fritz arrives. He grabs the nutcracker from her hands, holds it in the air, at which time he and Clara begin to struggle over it. They both pull and tug until in the struggle, the nutcracker breaks. Drosselmeyer picks up the broken nutcracker and the strange Mysterious. It's the way he puts it back together underneath his cloak. When he gives it back to Clara, it has a scarf around the nutcracker to keep it secure. He tells her to leave the nutcracker under the Christmas tree overnight. And then on Christmas morning, her nutcracker will be good as new. As she lay in bed, all Clara could think of was her nutcracker. And now he's lying there, broken and all alone under the Christmas tree. Finally, she couldn't stand it anymore. And she went downstairs to check on it. As she looks into the darkness in the corner of the park, there's something looking to her. A giant mouse. More and more mice appear. Standing right in front of her, blocking her way is a giant mouse king. He swings his sword at Clara, and the mice chase her all around the room. Uncle Drosselmeyer appears and casts a spell. The nutcracker underneath the Christmas tree has gotten bigger. He's as tall as a real person. The nutcracker has come to life and has brought an army of soldiers with him. The Nutcracker then leads the soldiers courageously into a battle against the mice. Eventually, the Nutcracker grows tired, and the mouse king gets the better of the Nutcracker and stabs him in the ribs. The Nutcracker stumbles backward, and the mouse king laughs as he raises the sword to finish the Nutcracker. But just as he's about to strike, Clara throws her slipper and hits the mouse king square in the head. <laughs> Uncle Drosselmeyer appears again in his long black cape. He lowers his cape over the nutcracker, and when he pulls it away, Clara sees that her nutcracker soldier has been the nutcracker prince. The nutcracker thanks Clara for saving him. He holds out his hand and offers to take Clara to his kingdom a land of sweets. Clara takes the nutcracker and gives his hand, and off they go. Uh, uh, On their way from uh, the sweets, Clara and the nutcracker pass through the beautiful, snow covered forest. The snow queen and all her snowflakes dance around. They jump, twirl around, and create a beautiful dance. When they're done dancing, the snow queen wishes Clara and the Nutcracker a safe journey as they leave to go to the land of sweets. Clara and the Nutcracker is finally arrived in the land of sweets. Clara is amazed at the beautiful palace. There's candy everywhere. The walls and floors are made of sweets, and there are giant candy canes growing from the ground. The Nutcracker Prince introduces Clara to the Queen of the Land of the Sweets, the Sugar Plum Fairy. The Sugar Plum Fairy calls out to her friends. There are all different types of sweets from all around the world.
Um, 